One of the most common types of investigative services we see is a client looking to recover data from a mobile device, an electronic device, something that has been apparently deleted. It may be a spouse deleting you know, apps or records of contacting another person. It may be a business dispute where there's records of fraud or records of um, improper um, competition. Um, and the question comes up is how are these records located? Here's a really good article that describes it in detail what our process is of recovering these assets. And it says how do forensic analysts get deleted data from your phone? And the easy answer is it goes through some of the preliminary um, different types of data acquisition, but how can deleted files be recovered? Well, here's the answer right here. Um, in a mobile device, when you actually hit delete on a voicemail, on an email, on a text, on an app, the mobile device doesn't actually delete the files. What it does is it de-indexes them. A good way to, <clears throat> to imagine it is, if you're in a supermarket and you look down the aisles and at the end of each aisle it has what's in that row. It says, you know, beans and rice in this row and spaghetti in this row and whatever. It's kind of like taking away the sign to know where those items are. So when you hit delete, all it does is it takes that item out of the index list that you can look to find that record. That's why, you know, if you delete a photo from your phone, you'll see there's a file that says trash. The photo is still in the trash bin, right? Even if you empty that, it's, it just deletes it from that trash bin label. The data is normally still in the phone. In some cases, maybe in the phone and also in the cloud. It may have saved it into the Android app or the iCloud app for that mobile device. Sometimes, even if a file is subsequently deleted, it takes away the sign at the end of the row of the supermarket, but also if you go down that row and there's a can of beans, if you take the label off the beans and it's just an empty can, a blank can, you don't know what's in it. The can is still there. The way the data is kept on a mobile device, that data is usually still on the device. It usually doesn't get actually deleted until the device needs that space for some other data, which very rarely do mobile devices run out of space, run out of room, especially if the data happened in the last few months or last year, um, the first data that will be deleted were, would be ones from the oldest time period. And even if they were deleted, there may be other records of that kept by the phone provider, by the um, device platform, whether it's Android or iCloud or some other platform. So the way it happens is the software uh, that is used can find and extract that data. Basically what it does is it goes in and spiders all those records and finds what's inside that can of beans, finds what's inside that file that has been deleted or the cover has been deleted and extracts that back out. So if you have a mobile device that you suspect has been used for some activity that you want to know more about, um, even if the app itself has been deleted, a perfect example is if somebody is using WhatsApp um, to do surreptitious com communications and the app is deleted and all the contacts are deleted, there may still be ways to recover the activity from a month or two months ago from that previously installed app on that mobile device. Even if the device has been logged out and logged in with a new user, the old user's profile is still kept in that device. So if the login uh, goes back to the original user, that can be uh, discovered. Um, if deleted something months ago um, and use your phone a lot, it may be overwritten, but there's still a good chance you can find it. Some um, iOS devices um, have an additional step of encryption, but it might be difficult, but not impossible to bypass, right? So even with encrypted files, you can discover it. What type of files can be recovered? Here's a great list text messages and iMessages, call history, emails, notes, somebody makes a note even if they delete it, contacts, calendar events, images and video. So if any of these things are on a mobile device, they can be deleted. It even talks about WhatsApp right here, right? Um, if you use your Android for file storage, those files might still be hanging around in storage, um, either on the phone or in the cloud. Make a long story short, if you do suspect that a phone has information on it that might be useful, 
Um, you can check out our website or you can arrange to have a consultation with a licensed investigator to see what might be available for recovery of presumably deleted data from a, uh, a device, whether it's a mobile device, a phone, even a laptop computer it may have information on it that might be of assistance um, for a case or even just knowledge of what decisions to make in life.